Alrighty boys, I'm going to share with you how I do the spark plug replacement. I wanted to show something. Um, just for you guys out there, just for reference purposes. If I would have known that my spark plugs were in this condition, I would not have replaced them. But, here's the deal. Last spark plugs I replaced were at 40,000 miles. I mean, on the plugs. It was 100,000, well, 97 or something like that on the vehicle when I replaced them. And they're much more worn out than these are. So if you look at, I mean, you got to measure them, of course. But at 40,000, there's there's quite the, the visual difference. Yeah, so I'll show you the spark plugs, and then I'll show you how I, I do the oil, do the change. So that's the that's the new one on the left, and the old one on the right. Well, I even them out so you guys can tell better. There you have it. You know. It's hard to tell, but the old ones are really, really worn out. These, you could see a little bit of wear on the right-hand side of the old one. You can see how the the top piece is more or less at an angle. I mean, I'm holding these things side by side. There's a little bit of wear, but not that much. Definitely not worth it. So, if, if, excuse me. If I were to do these plugs again, and when I do them again, I ain't planning on selling the car. I'll do them smack dab and 35,000 miles so that's the difference at 30,000 40 they're pretty shot um but at, at 40 they're fairly shot and at 30 that's like i don't know what's going on with this car seems about seems like by 40,000 ate them up and now at 30 not so much so first things first you know you pull your plastics off you don't know how to pull those plastics off so you probably shouldn't be doing this there's a couple clips here you yank it up that plastic comes off and then the air box holds on a couple springs right there you pop them off reach under undo your vent hose and then pop it off your throttle body okay and then you have something like this that side's taken apart so what i did is i went one by one and popped these suckers off well, i guess with two hands helping each other but anyways so pop them off one one after another, undo these, and pull the coils off like I did. So it gives, me, gives you a little bit more room. If you got really small hands, you could probably work around them. doesn't give you that much more room, but it being tight, it just helps. And then this is what I did. Used a mediocre extension, an extension just as long as the socket pretty much, and a short one in some cases. So half the time this gets used, another half it doesn't. This is full-time use. Now... What I do is I break them loose with this ratchet and then I'll slide in this bad boy right here. Makes a world of difference. Fairly simple, fairly straightforward, nothing crazy about it. You know, loosen up the plug. My socket is fairly, um, the rubber piece in there is fairly loose, which it works out pretty good for me. Because I usually wiggle them and leave the plug in there. Pull this whole shebang out and I'll reach on there and pull the plug because it's fairly on top there. It's easy to reach. That's how I do it. If you try to pull the plug, the socket, and sometimes you can't even pull it with the extension. Sometimes you got to reach on there and pop your socket off. Pull your extension and do that. Um, more or less, that's it. Sorry, guys. I know the lighting is wonderful in here, but I have what I have. And once I'm done with fixing up my sheetrock, we'll have a lot more lighting in here. Meanwhile, I just got a couple of hours. I figured I'd work on it. You know, this is the way I relax. This is the way I do stuff. And you know, sometimes my shop's too busy. No room for me. Boys are busy. I let them work and come in here, work on it at home. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'll keep y'all updated how these plugs work out. God bless you. Bye.